Characterization is the way that the writer reveals the personality of a character. Even though this is a literary term, we can demonstrate its use using the movie Frozen. Characters are revealed through direct characterization and indirect characterization. Direct characterization tells the audience what the personality of the character is. A great example of this is, the patient boy and the quiet girl were both well-mannered and did not disobey their mother. Here the author is directly telling the audience the personality of the two children. The boy is patient and the girl is quiet. Characters will also be revealed through indirect characterization. This type of characterization actually shows things that reveal the personality of the character. There are five different methods of indirect characterization. Looks, speech, relationships, actions, and thoughts. In this scene, we see the way Anna wakes up completely disheveled, with her hair messy and all out of sorts. What does her appearance tell us about her character? I'd say she's very carefree because she wakes up peacefully and is unconcerned about her appearance. You can't marry a man you just met. You can if it's true love. Anna, what do you know about true love? In this scene, Anna is completely convinced that she is in love with and should marry someone that she just met. The fact that she said this shows that she doesn't have a full understanding of love yet and is very naive. Hi. Hi, hi me? Oh, um, hi. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look beautifuler. I mean, not fuller. You don't look fuller, but more, more beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is what a party looks like. It's warmer than I thought. This is when Anna and Elsa have their first real conversation in a long time. And Anna is acting kind of weird, which shows that she can be a bit awkward in some social circumstances. She was scared. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean any of this. Tonight was my fault. I pushed her, so I'm the one that needs to go after her. What? Yes. Bring me my horse, please. When Duke attacks Elsa's character, it brings out a part of Anna that we haven't seen before. She defends her, which shows that she's loyal to her sister. This character trait is reinforced with the fact that she decides to go after Elsa herself. So we were so close. We can be like that again. No, we can't. Goodbye, Anna. Since Elsa hurt Anna last time, she decides that going back to this friendship is not possible. This shows that she cares about Anna. Elsa is caring and protective of her sister and doesn't want her to get hurt. I don't take people places. Let me rephrase that. <clears throat> take me up the North Mountain. In this scene, Anna throws a sack of materials at Kristoff and politely demands to be taken up the mountain. The fact that she knew bringing the materials would convince him shows that she is resourceful, and the fact that she demands shows that she is determined to get to her sister. When the rope Kristoff and Anna are attached to is grabbed by the giant snowman, Anna does not hesitate to cut them free. This action shows how brave she is. So to overview, direct characterization tells the audience what the personality of the character is. Characters will also be revealed through indirect characterization. This type of characterization shows things that reveal the personality of the character. There are five different methods of indirect characterization. Looks, speech, relationships, actions, and thoughts. These characterization skills will assist you in understanding the many different characters you meet in the literature.